Left on the Battlefield Sarah T. Bolton What? Was it a dream? Am I all alone? In the dreary night and the drizzling rain? Hist! Ah, it was only the river's moan. They have left me behind with the mangled slain. Yes, now I remember it all too well. We met from the battling ranks apart. Together our weapons flashed and fell, and mine was sheathed in his quivering heart. In the cypress gloom where the deed was done, it was all too dark to see his face. But I heard his death groans one by one, and he holds me still in a cold embrace. He spoke but once and I could not hear the words he said for the cannon's roar. But my heart grew cold with a deadly fear. Oh God, I'd heard that voice before. Had heard it before at our mother's knee when we lisped the words for our evening prayer. My brother, would I have died for thee? This burden is more than my soul can bear. I pressed my lips to his death-cold cheek and begged him to show me by word or sign that he knew and forgave me. He could not speak. But he nestled his poor cold face to mine. The blood flowed fast from my wounded side, and then for a while I forgot my pain. And over the lakelet we seemed to glide, in our little boat, two boys again. And then in my dream we stood alone on a forest path where the shadows fell. And I heard again that tremulous tone and the tender words of his last farewell. But that parting was years, long years ago. He wandered away to a foreign land, and our dear old mother will never know that he died tonight by his brother's hand. The soldiers who buried the dead away Disturb not the clasp of that last embrace, but laid them to sleep till the judgment day, heart folded to heart and face to face.